Hi everyone, I'm Lisa D'Amico and I'm with the Rockland Arts Festival and I'm here today speaking with Dina Romano. Dina, I love talking to you and I know everyone listening will enjoy this ride as much as me. So please talk about your piece in the festival and your journey and your inspiration. Take it away, Dina. Well, good morning, Lisa, and thank you very much again for this wonderful opportunity and to be in the Rockland Arts Festival. Um, the piece behind me, Looking for Peace, is the piece in the Rockland Arts Festival. And um, I had to think, what did I want to submit for this? It's always a hard call, but I decided to submit Looking for Peace because it really specifies how I'm feeling and with the world today. I painted this piece because painted this piece last April, it's 16 by 20. And the way the world is, we have COVID, we have the war in Ukraine, we have people are unhappy, people are somber, people are, are like hungry, thirsty. Um, no one smiles, like I smile at people and they like look at me and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna like, you know, throw something at me. Like we are in just a difficult place in our world. And I wanted to emphasize that through my art. I like my art to capture people and to make them feel like when you look at this piece, I want you to say, wow, what does that mean? And um, I kept it in earth tones. Color is very important to me. I kept it in the earth tones because we're all from the earth. We all come from the earth. Everything comes from the earth. I decided to use colors like yellow ochre, um, raw umber, burnt sienna, raw sienna, Van Dyke brown, Naples yellow, all in that palette of the earth. I didn't think this painting would work like say in really bright like uh, primary colors. I just, I wanted it to have a little bit of a somber feeling, but I wanted to have it a little bit of a mystical feeling on like what the heck is going on here. So looking for peace, I, I just feel that Everyone's looking for something, whether it's within peace within ourselves, peace within your loved ones, uh, peace within everything, and especially the way the world is now. Every time you turn on the news, like the crime, you know, sickness, poverty, eggs, you know, you need to take out a loan to buy a carton of eggs these days. It's just insane. So I wanted to emphasize that through my artwork with just how people are feeling. And I didn't want it to have any type of relation to a race or to race or color or creed. I mean, yeah, you could tell some look more masculine, some look more feminine, but I wanted everybody to be able to relate to this. So hence, that was my inspiration for looking for peace. It's, this is a riveting piece. And as a viewer, I really thought that you were making more of a statement on race because I feel like you're covering a large spectrum of skin tones. So it's it's really enlightening to hear your inspiration. It gives it more depth and it's really telling the, the true story. Well, thank you. And, and actually racism is another big problem, but I didn't want it to specify like towards one race, like towards women or towards, you know, people of color or towards Asians. I wanted it to be able for everyone to be able to identify it. And I like my art when people look at it, I want them to look again. I want them to be mesmerized by it. I want them to say like, what is going on here? And it's funny because when I started painting this piece, um, I decided to use a grid format. Um, and the thing that's funny is I didn't even, it's just kind of happened, the magic on the canvas. It looks like they're looking out the window. I mean, like out windows. And I didn't even anticipate that. It just happened when I when I took this 16 by 20 canvas and I divided it into four and then I divided each four into four using the grid format. And at one point I was going to make one, like the, the bottom right of the grid a lot bigger, like with one head. But I'm like, no, just break it. You know, just, I just, like, that's what happens when you paint. I do a lot of thumbnails and sketches before I start. And what's funny is, you no. Know, Every painting I do, it generally follows what I want to achieve, but I always find this magic when I'm in the middle of it. I'm like, wow, they're looking out the window. They're looking for peace. And it's just amazing how everything falls together. I love the, like I said, the earth tones. And it's a nice size. Like this is something that would not work smaller. It needs to be a little bigger, you know, like so it has that impact. So hence, um, you, we get these wonderful surprises on, on the canvas. And that's what's so awesome about being an artist, because no matter what you think you're going to get, I, I always seem to get this magic in just 
like, wow, like, wow, <laughs> you know, like, how, like, I didn't think about looking for peace, looking out the window, you know. It's riveting. It's challenging. It's thought provoking. And it's, it's, it's almost, it's, I feel invited into the painting and it does have a feeling of anguish and despair and a cry for help. And I think you're right. I think it is, you know, it is capturing the moment in history. Right. And we, you know, this is tough. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I think about when I was younger and like everyone is just unhappy. And I even find myself, like I stop myself. I try to smile. I try to be personable, but sometimes I just lose patience and I feel like my blood raising up to my earlobes. I'm like, Dina, you know, serenity now, <laughs> you know, but you know, I'm hoping that, um, we all, we get through these difficult times. I mean, there are people, I mean, the crime racism, I mean, just, it's crazy. You go to the supermarket, people are just mean. I mean, I want, I like Pete. I want to smile. I want, I, I miss humanity. I, I miss, I, I don't know. I, you know, it, and then when I painted this, I just wanted to emphasize everything that's going on and COVID and everything else. And it's just, I want to go back to rainbows and lollipops again. I mean, I know the world isn't always rainbows and lollipops, but I just want happier times for everyone and just looking for peace. Everyone is looking for peace someplace within themselves, everywhere. So everyone can relate because I think in some way, everyone is looking for peace. Dina, thank you so much. This was a wonderful chat with you and everyone listening. See Dina's work in the festival, but also follow Dina. And if you get the opportunity to see her work in person, you will be grateful that you did. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lisa.